Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to your uh, fourth, I believe, fourth, third, fourth, something like that, Java graphics tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going, um, first of all, it's going to be a two part series, most more than likely. Um, I'm going to teach you, uh, well, not teach you anything, I guess, but we're just going to make a little uh, program that displays four panels, each with a different color, and when you click anywhere on the JFrame, um, the panels all are going to change to black and then you click again they're all going to change back to the respective colors and you can keep doing that over and over and over again so I mean it's a neat little program we're not we're not actually going to paint anything but it still involves colors and graphics so whatever anyways let's get started um panels class this is going to contain your four panels and then your frame class is going to contain the J frame and going to have the four panels so, uh, alright, first of all I need to make four panels, so call it upper left, upper right, lower left, and lower right. And, um, I need an integer, that's just for the switching, so int x, make it zero. Alright, public painting. Alright, panels. Alright, so. Here's what we need to do. We need to set the layout inside of this um, um, panel, and then we gotta add each of our panels to our layout. So, um, do this, which is referring to the J panel, which we've extended up here. Set layout, um, grid layout, 2-2, two, two. so we can have four items in it. And then upper left is a new J panel, and then upper left set background color red, this dot add upper left. And remember this is referring to the J panel, so we're basically adding our four panels to their main J panel. I mean, I know it's a little odd, but whatever. I suppose you could extend J frame too, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> Alright. Upper right, and we're going to have a new J panel. And then this one's going to be blue. And then upper l or lower left, excuse me. This one's gonna be green. And I'll make this one um, yellow. All right. Done with that. Um, we might finish this. This is not taking too long. Um, anyways, um, we need an event class to handle when we click anywhere on the panel. So, um, event e event, and since we want to be able to click anywhere on our frame or panel or main panel, we need to add action listeners for all four of the things panels. So, um, yeah, upper left, add, so it, mouse listener, upper right, mouse listener, L lower left, mouse listener, and lower right. Alright, make an event class. Ugh, can't type. Um, implements mouse listener. And then there's like five or six methods we have to implement, so I prefer just to click this. And then delete all these um, ones that we're not going to use. Well, I don't delete the method body, I just delete what's inside the body. And then you leave the one 
So if you didn't imp um if you didn't aren't using an IDE and you can't click that, just pause it here and get all these, but um yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and the only one we're gonna mess with is the mouse clicked. That means we press and release all in one motion, so yeah. Um that's mouse event E and so if x is equal to zero, which it is, remember we started at zero. So if it's at zero, which it is when you spawn the program, that means the colors are gonna be active and showing. Um upper left set background color black. And spell that right. And then basically just do this for all of them. So your upper left, your upper right, your lower left, and your lower right. So upper right and lower left, lower right. And then delete that. And then else if oops, sorry, you gotta x is equal to one after we do this. So else if x is equal to one, which it is now, what we're going to do is set the panels back to the respective colors. So um background this one was red this one was blue this one was green this one was yellow there we go. Alright, we can probably finish this one. And then just simply set x back to zero. So it just loops ba it just basically just loops back and forth. Alright. So now go to your frame class and <coughs> do your do your main method. And then type in um, new, whatever your class name is, frame. So that means that basically, when the program runs, it looks for the main method, what to do. Well, it's just going to have a new frame. And inside of our frame, we're going to tell the program what to do. So public frame. So J frame. Just new J frame. Title grids set size um three hundred three hundred default oh all right. And the pain. Oh, not this. Huh, duh. Ooh, better hurry. Um, pain set layout. Uh, grid layout. And it's, remember, it's only be one one. It's not gonna be two two because we, all we're adding is the main frame that contains all of this. And this has the grid layout of 2 2 and then pain add panel and finally GUI set visible true alright so save it so you got about a minute alright run it and here it is nice beautiful program with red blue green and yellow click it and every um, panel turns to black click it again and they go back to their respective colors black colors black colors black colors it'll just keep doing that forever and ever and ever and ever because of our little um, kind of makeshift loop thing we've created here with the if else and the um, int so yeah so hope you like this program um, I know we didn't really paint anything but still it's pretty cool and eh. probably gonna get into some random color stuff next tutorial so make sure you stick around and watch it and thanks for watching